Hello champions, this is Elias Mhozi, delighted once again join you this week to share with you tips on how you can grow your network marketing business and become successful. I'm the author of this wonderful book, The Master King, to Network Marketing Success, which is a huge seller, uh, but uh, please get yourself a copy anytime. And those of us who are in distances where the physical book is not available, please get yourself the online version on Amazon so that you are able to learn tips on how I grow my network. Today we have a very interesting topic. And uh, the topic is the best approach to a no from a prospect or a customer. The best approach to a no. And uh, of course, we know very well that the moment you are in network marketing or doing any business anyway, you're not always going to get yes, 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 yes. Some people will say yes, but many of them will say no. And uh, actually, one of the re biggest reasons why people quit network marketing, why people get discouraged, is when their friends, their family, their prospects tell them no, they don't join them. Or no to their products, not to their opportunity, or even not to their, know themselves. So when a person tells you no, how should you approach that? Uh, to begin with, number one, when someone tells you no, accept it as a challenge. Are we together? Accept it as a challenge. How? Number one, accept it as a challenge to improve your, your presentation. Maybe they didn't like your presentation. Maybe you are still a bit amateur in talking about the products and the presentation. Tell yourself that, you know what, the next time I ever meet another client, I'll be more prepared. I will give a better test presentation. I'll give you a better testimony. I'll be more confident. So always accept it as a challenge to make yourself better. But also, um, always take it that the initial no does not mean no. So what you do, the moment someone tells you no and they are really, really said no, uh, challenge yourself to build rapport once again with this person and you know keep on um, uh, following them up a little bit and all that so that they, you can be able to turn them into a customer. No, when someone tells you no, always tell yourself challenge accepted to make myself better or to build rapport with you again so that I win you again as a prospective customer. Point number two in how to handle a no or how to approach a no is uh, to be curious rather than persistent. Be curious rather than persistent. What do I mean? That basically when a person tells you no, don't over insist on them and choke the business or the product down through their throats. No, that one is only going to push them away. So what you do, use the curiosity approach. Try to ask them questions. Find out why did they buy? Why did they join? What was the challenge? What was some of their unanswered concerns? And the moment you approach them in that way, being curious, asking some questions, finding out what is the challenge, why they, did, they didn't consider, or even probably um, inside your own presentation, ask yourself that maybe why did I do it? The moment you are curious, these people open up and they can actually be able to share with you reasons why they didn't join now. They may not still join, but the reasons why they didn't join, the moment you understand them, it helps you on how you can approach the next person, the next prospect, the next customer. It helps you to improve your approach to the presentation. So always uh, uh, take the curiosity uh, approach, not the persistent approach on a customer, on a prospect who says no to you. Uh, point number three is to remain professional. When someone tells you no, do, 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 come on, they come. the world is not ending today. Don't be, be unprofessional and maybe find, uh, uh, maybe you kind of, you know, argue with them or uh, you, show, uh, you show it into their faces that you are frustrated, that you are not happy with them. Maybe sometimes if they're your friends, don't unfriend them. No, no, remain professional. Come on. Uh, someone can choose to buy or not to buy. Like, it's a free world. So it is okay. So remain professional. Thank them for their time and the and when they saw their professionalism, by the way, they will respect you for that. Ask for referrals and be very, very respectful with them. Show them that, yes, I invited you to show you the business, but more important, you are my friend. So if you cannot join the business or buy my product, it is okay. We can still be able to deal with each other in other areas of our lives. And you never know, sooner or later, this person may reconsider to buy from you or join your team. Uh, point number four is find agreement that every time uh, 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 a prospect, a customer tells you no, lay back a little bit and what you're going to do is to 
find a way, find some agreement with them. Don't reject all their concerns as if they are wrong. Uh, uh, tell them, I agree with you there, but this is how we do it. This is how I approached it. There is a principle called the feel felt found principle and it says i know how you feel that's how i felt but this is what i found so let's say for example a, a, a prospect saying but you know i would have loved to join the business but where will i get my my first people to join me tell them i know how you feel when i joined i was scared where i would, I would get my first people and um uh, uh, but after after joining the business as supported by the people that i found in the business i was able to quickly learn how to present and eventually I realized that actually people really join the business the moment you present to them. So basically, use the fear felt found principle. Then, um, and in that way, you are, it's a way of agreeing with a person but sharing with them what uh, your approach is. Actually, I share about that principle in my book. Then uh, point number five is to follow up. The moment a customer says no, it is okay. Uh, let them be, but always don't get them off your prospecting list. Don't get them off your prospecting funnel. Make sure that after a few months you call them. Their circumstances change. I share in my book that personally, when I uh, when I joined my network marketing company, I was presenting the business three times and I was not even considering. It is the fourth person that shared with me and they found the circumstances were right. They found that I had uh, already seen it somewhere and I was able to understand it better and come on the response to me. If the first person had, whom I told no, had kept on following up and you know, trying to be nice to me, trying to show me the business once again, probably I would be in their team. You can imagine how they lost a very, very big team simply because they presented to a prospect once and the moment I told them no, they didn't prospect me once again. My dear friends, I hope you have learned uh, some tips this week. I, I also encourage you to please subscribe and uh, get yourself a copy of this Master Key to Network Marketing Success because it will help you to understand ways in which I build my own organization. May God bless you. See you at the top. Power.